Hey friends, welcome back. Okay guys, so I was on my work email and I got this email um, regarding the stimulus and right now you can see it's the Washington Post. I'm gonna link this below. But I had some questions from the other video that I did. Hold on, rain's crying. And the questions that I couldn't answer because I just don't know the answers to them. But if you read this article, it's gonna give you a lot of question answers to your questions. All right, so you can calculate how much you're gonna get, all right? This is not why I did this, it's because I have other questions. And, um, did you fall for head of household? Yes. I'm just putting in an amount, 55,000, and let's say I have two kids that I claimed under the age of 16, and let's see, 2,200, okay? Let's say I claimed four kids, 3,200, you know? So, that is what you can do to figure out how much you're going to get. This tells you who qualifies, okay? This is where they're sending the money. Or, if it didn't go direct deposit, it looks like they're just going to mail you a check. Now, I know some people were saying, well, what if I got it on a Jackson Hewitt card? I don't know that information. I'm going to guess that they're just going to send you a check. Okay, here's the top question. When will the payments arrive? It says, Secretary said a goal of the first payments going out the door the week of April 6th. So, that would be next week sometime. Okay. Here's another one that I got. What about people on Social Security? People on Social Security are eligible to receive the coronavirus relief payment as long as their total income does not exceed the limit. That was another question. Okay. Roughly 125 million will get a check or about 83%. Who won't get a check? The people are excluded from receiving a payment are the wealthy, non-resident aliens, and dependents who can be claimed on someone else's taxes. Okay? Is this a one-time payment? Well, will there be another payment? President Trump has said he is open to another round of checks, but only if the economy rain, remains anemic through the spring and an additional boost is warranted. Are the checks taxable? No, they are not taxable. What's the cutoff date to file my 2019 tax return to get a check? You should file your taxes ASAP. Okay, file it ASAP if you have not done it already and you are expecting money. Sadly, if you make too much money and you lost your job, you're not eligible, I know that's terrible. You would get a rebate when you file your 2020 taxes next year. It says the Treasury may create a program to get these people money sooner, but nothing has been announced yet. If I owe past taxes, will my check be reduced? No, the only reason it would be reduced is if you have past child support payments, when I, which I talked about this in the other video. And the amount has been reported. So basically, if you're in arrears, and like they take your income tax check every year, um, that would be something. Or if you are still paying off your arrears, I, unfortunately it's a terrible situation. So again, I just came across this information and I thought I would share it with y'all. I'm gonna link this um, article in the description box if y'all wanna click on it. And it's on the Washington Post, and I know this is true. <laughs> um, updated March 27, 2020. All right, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll leave you to the back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Another thing, hopefully. Sorry, I don't want to hold my finger over the frame. And yes, I'm all oily and ugly. Guys, another thing that I read on um, the email from my job 
um, it states that for unemployment benefits, I don't know if this is for everybody, this is coming from the state of Texas, students who lose full or part-time jobs and file for unemployment insurance will receive $600 per week from the federal government for up to four months in addition to a maximum benefit of $521 per week from the state of Texas. If you have lost a job, I encourage you to file for unemployment insurance through the Texas Workforce Commission. Now, again, um, what was I going to say? I don't know if this is for every state. This is just what I'm reading for Texas. And also, federal work study students. I have student workers at my job. Um, it says students who are receiving support through the federal work study program who are unable to work due to the closures can continue to receive payments for this benefit. So it looks like student workers are still going to get paid. I'm assuming for whatever hours they normally work during the week. I think it's like 20 hours that they can work a week. They're still going to be receiving payments. So that's good because I know a lot of students, you know, they're student workers. They need their money. Um, so yeah, so that was something else that I read. I just want to encourage everybody, um, if you have lost your job, to file for unemployment. Um, if you need, you know, assistance, obviously. And it, uh, again, check your state. I'm in Texas, and so this is just from my particular state. So I thought that this information would be helpful. So again, that's it now. Thank you so much for watching. I love you too. I'm back, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.